I absolutely love using Canva to help my Instagram feed look better. From Instagram highlights to branded Instagram content, Canva is my secret sauce to make my feed look beautiful. So on today's video, I am going to share my top five Instagram hacks using the website Canva. If you have not signed up for my VIP vault, which is my epic resource library filled with video tutorials, cheat sheets, checklists, and even stock photos for free, just go to LaShondaBrown.com or click on the link in the description. Without further ado, let's hop in. Instagram highlights. So for this video, I wanted to have a little fun and utilize some stuff inside Canva that I haven't used before. So all of the animations in between these quick little tutorials were created using a presentation template in Canva and selecting in the top right, show more animation. That is a paid feature, but it's a ton of fun. It's a great way to add something extra to your presentation. So if you've never done that before, there's a freebie hack for you. So let's start with Instagram highlights. And I use that on my personal Instagram account, LaShonda M. Brown. So at the top, you can see some super vibrant Instagram highlight um, buttons, if you will, for all the different categories that I have on my account. Now, I have seen lots of folks use icons or, you know, do different things to try to customize that top area. And I figured there has to be a way to do that inside of Canva. So essentially, all you need to do is create an Instagram story image and save it as a highlight. When you do that, you now have the option to make that Instagram story image the cover photo, if you will, for that story highlight. So if we go inside, this is what mine look like. And so all they are are different color backgrounds. And I added this little texture on top just to add something special to it. But here's something cool. And I'll go ahead and just create a blank one and we'll delete what I have here. If you want to start from scratch, you can, but you don't have to on the side. If you search for Instagram story as a template in Canva, here are some options. And so they have some highlight covers in here for you that have everything centered. Look at this one. Isn't this so cute? Hand-drawn Flora minimalist Instagram story highlight cover. That was a really long title. But the point is they've got the work done for you. Maybe you didn't know to look within Canva to find this stuff. Not a ton to select from, but it'll at least get you started. Now you can create whatever you want in here. And if you want to customize it with something that's not here, say for instance, if we want to get rid of this plant and instead we want to add, let's click over to elements. We want to add a social media logo. So let's say Facebook. Well, now you can drop in something right on top. And all you need to do is make sure it's centered to be on the safe side. I would click on position center and middle to make sure that it's in the center of your design. And when you drop it into Instagram, you'll be just fine. Now, as you can see, I chose a beautiful jewel tone color palette because that's what I'm into. And maybe you struggle with finding colors that go well together. Maybe you should check out canvas color palette generator. Yes, I love coolers, but Canva also has something built in. So you can explore color combinations and use Canva to find different colors that work well together to use as your highlight backgrounds. So that is how I create my Instagram story highlights within Canva. Instagram story quizzes. Instagram story quizzes are a fantastic way for you to grow your Instagram account if you remember to put your handle on them. However, when I look at these beautiful quizzes that I see in other people's feeds, all I think of is, man, there's a lot of time involved in this and I don't think I have that kind of time. So I decided to look on Canva to see if there was a Canva hack to create these quizzes. So we're going to go ahead over to Canva and type in 
Instagram story in the search and we're going to create an Instagram story. On the side, you will see some awesome categories. Now we did just talk about the highlight covers, but here's the thing guys, keep on scrolling because down here under paper craft Instagram story, let's click on all, look what I found. Here's a this or that, there you go, already designed. So that's one I found. Let's keep going to see what else I can find. And actually, let's do a little search if we say Instagram story quizzes. That might show us some extra stuff. We'll see. We're going to add quiz to the title. God bless America. Look at all of these options. Get to know me. What is this one? Which team are you? So guys, <laughs> Look at all of this. Fantastic. Now, not all of these are quizzes, but there's a good 20 to choose from. So if I were you, if you don't have a ton of time, you want to look like, you know, you're a fantastic graphic designer and you really don't have the time to actually be one, search for Instagram story quiz in the top left when you log into Canva and that should help you get started. Instagram story promotion. So a lot of folks use Instagram to grow their personal brands, but some of us actually use Instagram for our business. So let's talk about using Instagram stories to promote your products and let's see if Canva has a template for that. So again, we search for Instagram story. We're going to click here to create one from scratch and we're going to look on the side. Again, Canva has categorized their templates in these little uh, groupings on the left hand side. So that is not all the templates that are there. Make sure you click on all and make sure that you scroll down. So let's take a look. If we keep scrolling down, I'm sure there are some more business centric ones. And here's a great example, anniversary sale. So if we click here, this is an entire category dedicated to sales. So we're gonna click all. And as you can see, we've got some that are text only, some that have images as well as text. For those of you who are blessed with that swipe up feature, I'm sure this would be an amazing addition to your Instagram stories. So if you've not used Canva to create some of these sales promotions, you're missing out because this is an awesome way to let people know what's going on in your business and you can use your branding kit to make sure all the colors match. So if we click here, boom, there you go. And we can swap out this image. If we delete that, we can hop over to photos. And if you've got a paid Canva account, let's just say uh, boutique. And look at your options. So obviously, if you're actually selling clothes, you may want to highlight your own clothes, but Canva has a great library of stock images, so don't forget to use the photos features as well as you customize your sales promotions. Branded Instagram Posts. My passion project is a stock photo brand called I for Ebony, where I take stock photos featuring African-American models. When I started posting those images to Instagram, I think it was hard for people to understand what it was that I did. But when I started creating branded posts like this, I immediately increased the traffic to my website and the amount of leads that I've received from Instagram. So if you are using Instagram to grow your business and you want to have a consistent look and feel to your feed, I would strongly suggest using Canva. Now, one thing that I did recently that I thought was really cool is I actually created multiple images using Canva to add as a slider. And so you can create graphics that you just use as a single image in your feed, but think about designing sliders as well. So to do a slider, all I did was use an Instagram template and I did them one after the other. And when you go to download them, they just zip all of them together in a single zip file. So I was able to create all of these within Canva, download all the images, 
I sent them to myself as an email and then I uploaded them to Instagram. And so that gave a little bit more professionalism to my sliders. The other thing I did was I started to create some branded content that just used a little bit of my brand colors. I didn't want to completely cover up the images, but I wanted people to understand that all of these posts were from the same brand. So even though I use different fonts and different size fonts and different boxes, it all looks consistent. So a simple way to do that is just by starting out with a blank Instagram template and then you can choose your design from the side. If I choose this one, maybe I can choose another one down here and this one. And I can make them all look like they're a part of the same brand simply by changing the colors. And I think this is something that a lot of businesses should take advantage of because it's a simple, simple way to step up your Instagram feed then all you need to do is change these images to match your brand. And so instead of lemons, this girl and this, I don't know, satin and fur coat, um, I would add my own photos here. I also have my photos organized in the folders on the side to make it easier for me. So as I start creating new bundles for my shop, I can go back easily and pull my own images from the side. So instead of this photo, I could drop in my own. And immediately people know it's the Eye for Ebony brand and not the Canva stock image. So that's a great way that you can customize your feed, you can brand it to your business, and you can increase your following and increase your leads from Instagram. Custom IG thumbnails. I did a video specifically about how I create my covers for IGTV within Canva. So if you've not checked out that video, make sure that you hop on over and take a look. And this is what it actually looks like once it's posted to Instagram. So what I love about it is it fits within the aesthetic of my overall Instagram account. But what I also do with the exact same images that I create is I turn these into animations and I use them within the video itself. So I think that that's a really cool way for you to step up the production value of your IGTV videos. And I just use the app Video Shop to do that. And when I export this as a movie by hitting publish animation and making sure movie is selected, it animates that image just like you see above. And you've got six different options for your animation and it'll just save to your desktop or wherever you have your Canva file saved, and you can send it to your phone. So I really like using that. I've noticed that people really enjoy it. And if you've not seen them in action, just head to About 90 Marketing on Instagram and check out some of my videos. So this was an extremely extensive video about Instagram hacks using the website Canva, but I thought I had enough little tips and tricks that I could shove it all together and give you guys a five in one video. So if you like this video, do me a favor and go ahead and share it on your social media platforms. You can share it on Twitter, on Instagram, on Facebook, but I would love to build awareness for this channel because I really do teach people how to grow their biz without breaking the bank. So again, if you've not signed up for my VIP vault, it is free. Just go to LaShondaBrown.com and click on the bar at the top. You'll get access to all of my cheat sheets, tutorials, checklists, and some of those I for Ebony sock photos. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, ta-ta for now.